Today we're gonna be doing our makeup, but with a twist. I'm gonna be doing Celeste's makeup and... And I'm gonna do her makeup. Yes, this is gonna be a test of trust. Yes, so good luck to... To what? Both us. <laughs> do you trust me? I trust you, oh. do you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's but see. But we'll also be answering questions from Miss Universe Philippines in the past few years. So they're yeah. here in the Lux Immune Plus bottle. Let's get started. Who yeah, wants to go first? Good. You want to go first? Uh, yeah. You want to answer? So I'm going to do your makeup. You're going to do my makeup, so you'll be answering okay, the question too. Let's do this. Also, for the makeup, we're going to be using the Front Row DD. Yes. Uh, this is the shade 02. So this is your question. This one was asked to Miss Victoria Velasquez Vincent, VVV, our Miss Universe Philippines 2021 charity. In your journey to be in Miss Universe Philippines, what has been the most inspiring part and why? Well, I would say my journey, it was really to be able to meet all the candidates during Miss Universe Philippines and as everybody knows, I really got close to some of them and there are so many good memories we had together, like I really got the chance to know a lot of the candidates and it's, it is really inspiring because they also teach you so many things um, about their experiences, everything they've been through and so I was also able to learn a lot from them. Okay. I'm doing great, by the way. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll trust you. It's like... <laughs> I like this foundation. It's so creamy. It's easy to use. Okay. All right, so I'm going to ask you the question now. So your question <laughs> is... Um, this question for, for, was for Michelle Gumabao in Miss Universe Philippines 2020. If you are under strict quarantine and it's an isolation, what is the most important mobile app for you and why? Actually, it would be a communication app like Messenger or Viber, for example, because it kept me in contact with the rest of the world, let's say. Yeah. And it allowed me to stay updated also on what's happening. And I can't imagine... You're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't imagine how, how it would have been if I had no contact with the outside world. Because we, we need that support, right? Yeah. It's really hard when you stay away. It was so hard. Loved ones for a long time. Exactly. But you've seen your mom recently, right? Yeah, when we went to Europe, I swear, it was literally one day and a half. That you saw her? Mm -hmm. Okay. But it was amazing, right? She was very happy. So when will you be seeing her again? For Miss Universe. Miss Universe. <laughs> She's gonna watch. When she you'll will be, be crowned. Wherever I'm gonna be, she will watch me. So. Oh, that's so nice. I'm so happy for you, Celeste. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is the shade 00. zero. Yes, shade 00. zero. So I'm gonna use it as an highlighter. Okay. You're getting my question. I love it. <laughs> so this question was asked to Miss Pauline Amling's Miss Universe Philippines 2022 charity. <laughs> What is that one life-changing decision that you've made and what was its impact on your life? Hmm. Honestly, a lot. But if I had to choose one, I would say when I decided to come here in the Philippines. Mm. So that was 20, 2018 and I remember I didn't know anything about the Philippines. I didn't know I didn't even know how to speak English or Tagalog, but I was very, very fascinated by their culture and my mom has been talking to me a lot about the Philippines, so I decided to take a flight just by myself and after a few months, I just fell in love with the Philippines, so now it's been almost five years that I'm here and it was really a life-changing decision because you know, I started to be very independent, I started to take care of myself and also take care of my family mm -hmm. from here to Italy. So, let me just blend up. I saw because she was <laughs> facing the it. light. She was facing the light. I could see it wasn't blended up properly. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I got you. When I think about it, I was crazy. Like, like for me to just move to another country 19 years old without even knowing how to speak English. Mm -mm. Like, oh, was... you didn't know how to speak English yet then? Mm, not at all. Yes. Yeah. So what did you do when you arrived here? I mean, Google Translate. Oh. <laughs> it was amazing. But honestly, it was really hard. But you know, after a few months, I started to talk. And now it's been four years. So that's great. pretty that's much good. fluent now. But now here you are. I know, mm -hmm. right? After almost five years, crazy how things can change. Yeah. Question to Billy Hackinson. Am I uh, Hackinson? Okay. Miss Universe Philippines 2020. What advice will you give, brother, would have given to a first-time voter for the 2022 elections? Mm. 
Wow. Were you a first time voter? Yes, the, the, in the Philippines. In, in 2022, in Philippines, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's something that I've been trying to apply myself to, or it's advice that I gave myself to, is to really research on the people that are for election. Because there's so many people that you're voting for. It's not just president or anything. It's like so many people in Congress and in the Senate too. And then if you're voting also for local elections, then it's also your mayor, for example. So it's important to really know what they stand for and to, to really research. Can I see if it's even? Okay, I'm gonna just put it slightly down. Your cheeks are so nice. You have like the very, those apple cheeks. Tiny. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not, no, yeah, but they're like really apple cheeks. <laughs> and you don't have a dimple there, so it's okay. Can you see okay. here? Can you see? Ah, love it. That's fine. This has been fun though. Yeah. It's nice. Practicing for Miss Universe. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, this was a question yeah. for Beatrice Luigi Gomez, Miss Universe Philippines 2021. This is your question. Mm -hmm. If during your reign as Miss Universe Philippines, things happen in your life that make you sad and uninspired, how would you be able to continue inspiring others? Okay. I, I actually love that question. It's not even... It's not an easy question to ask. But anyway, um, I think first of all, like it's normal that Sometimes you you really are uninspired and mm -mm. sometimes you have self-doubts or sometimes you're going through something and it might be hard to be able to inspire others but how I would do it is to always show that whatever you're going through you can always overcome your challenges um, no matter what and it happened to me so many times in my life but I always remember that I have a family, I have friends and I want to really set a good example for them. I really want to show them that even if I'm going through something, I can still do it. I can, I can still overcome my challenges. Okay, so now I'm going to ask the last question to Pauline. Yes, and right. while, while I'll answer it, I'll finish my own makeup with just a little eyeliner and some falsies. Well, uh, uh, yes, apply my lipstick. Okay, all right. Bring it on. Question to Pauline. <laughs> That was my question. In 2020. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What factors influence you in deciding on what to buy or post online? Oh my God. <laughs> I remember having such a hard time answering that question because it's actually a two-part question if you listen carefully. But now, two years later, <laughs> now that I think about it, some factors that I would consider if, for example, I'm buying something online would, of course, be quality because mm. I want whatever money I invest to be invested wisely, whether that's something I'm investing like in real estate or if it's just something sure. that I'm buying online, for example. It's very important to get, you know, quality for what you're for what you're giving. And that actually also counts with what you're putting or posting online. It has to be quality too. Like you want your own brand to be able to 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 be shown through what you post and to what you put online so that people will get to know you more, appreciate you more, and perhaps it can lead to future partnerships too, as a, as a influencer. What? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of true. Agree. I agree, I agree. I already know what we're gonna buy. When? <laughs> well, maybe not on Lazada, but I think we need to restock on... Uh, oh yeah, on of course. Plus, plus, because this had questions in it, but it also reminded me, now that it's empty, that mine's empty. Again, yeah. yeah. Actually, later we're gonna go to the front row office, so... We yeah. can buy more. We have this. a shoot. So it's like yes. a, every day we work. Yeah. So we need our immune to be okay. All right. So we're done with our look. Yes. So what do you guys think? <laughs> and what do you think after looking at yourself in the mirror? A great job. Thank honestly. You. <laughs> also, thank you for doing my, my makeup. Like, I thank think you. we look great. We look yes. ready for the shoot. And we're ready for our next schedule. Yes. So thank you also to Front Row and the DD Sticks for being our partner for this video and for our makeup look today. Yes, and before going, please follow us on our social media. On Instagram, my name is Celeste underscore Cortesi. Okay, and my Instagram is at Pauline Amlings. And don't forget to subscribe to Front Row TV on YouTube and follow on Facebook. Yes, thank you guys. Bye.